some plates and I want to do something in the in-between up here on the mantle. Um, it's just kind of a mess at the moment. Um, so I was thinking about doing a plate wall above the mantle. I've always wanted to do it, but I was waiting for the mantle in this area to be done and that's not happening. So um, I thought we could do it now. So yeah, I'm going to start that. So join me. I want to sincerely thank Sincerely Jewels here on this app for this two-piece set that I found at Home Goods. It looks a little like a little grandpa tuck right there. I'll show the full thing. I don't have a full-size mirror in the renovations. Things got packed away, so it's harder to share my cozy fits with you, but um, I'll try to get a photo of that. But Sincerely Jewels has clothing at Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, I guess, and I found this two-piece set. And I'm living my best life. Today is a hard day. I will talk about it more later when I won't cry on the internet. Um, but anyways, um, thank you, Sincerely Jules, for having this there. Um, it is like a warm hug today. But um, the year is 2010. And this plate wall that I'm doing above the mantle made me think of my first ever plate wall in 2010. When Pier 1 was top tier and I liked the color teal. Let's look at that. It's Okay, the year is 2010, and here, the this squished the photo a little bit, so it looks even a little funkier, but that's fun. Um, I painted a bench yellow, um, and I know that's shocking to a lot of you, and this cabinet here, I believe I painted even before I started a blog, um, and this piece was... Um, I, I don't know. I was always just doing things like this. And then that's when a friend of mine was like, you should start a blog. There's like a whole online world of people like you. And I didn't even know what the word blog meant. It sounded like a dirty word to me. Um, and I went online and I discovered an entire creative community that was blogging what they were doing and I've never looked back but I was so proud of this plate wall and so I'm still proud of it even though I look at it and giggle a little and like what was I thinking I love it because Liz in 2010 loved it and was proud so I'm still proud of it. This one is a little more chill, a little more um, subdued. Can't think of words today. Um, but on each side of this cabinet, I just did a trio of plates. It was really pretty um, and it really fit the vibe at the time in this room. Um, chippy paint was clearly it in 2016. I think this cap, yep, chippy. Everything's chippy. Um, I had a chippy ladder hanging from the ceiling with chandeliers and that same, everyone's always, like when I change things, they're always like, where did that go? We often, most of the time recycle or I'll bring it to the shop, but that chippy ladder and um, light fixtures is hanging in the greenhouse and it's so beautiful. I don't share that often, I should. Um, but anyways, now I think we did more plate walls than this, but I've got to get to work. Um, so plate wall, um, Point three, coming at ya. I need to go get ready, which means I have to get out of my cozy clothes. I just hit my hand on that chair. Um, and I'm really sad about it because this set is the coziest thing I've had in my body. Um, I haven't shown you guys an update in a really long time with the kitchen. 
with the holidays, it just felt weird, and I don't know why, and we weren't making that much progress. Shock. Um, but I did want to show you because I, um, today in the sunroom a little bit, because I want to show you the tablecloths I hinted at last week on Amazon. These are from Amazon. Um, I did a whole post last week of cozy cottage tablecloths, and currently we're eating at, um, a table in the sunroom so I'm making it cozy in the in-between there's construction all around us nothing is painted or done or pretty but we're making it cozy in the in-between and that's a theme here right and I hope that I inspire you daily with that that it doesn't have to be done or perfect to be look at how beautiful this is look at how pretty Amazon super affordable so I got the round version um, because that's the kind of table that we have in the sunroom right now. And, um, I, but I shared a bunch of tablecloths. I forget how many, it was a lot, like 40 ish from different places. Um, just one of the more affordable options was Amazon in these block prints. And I have one on the table and I'm going to share that in my feed tonight. Just like some happy photos in the middle of a construction zone. So story people, not everyone sees stories, get like the behind the scenes of what it really looks like. Um, so anyways, let me give you this update because it's happy. We have been building bookcases underneath the windows that look into the kitchen. So we've been busy like in between things doing bookcases. These will get painted and all that. So you're only seeing one small section, but the bookcases are gonna go all along this wall. Um, there's a break for some doors and then more bookcases. And we are going to be building a ledge above the window for books and above those windows. So in the feed tonight, you'll see the two windows that the table is by. Those will also have a little bookshelf above it. So lots of room for books. We have a ton of books. I mean, just like on everything, like cookbooks, home decor books, um, any any like gardening, any subject we're interested in, we tend to like buy a lot of books in. And so I really wanted the sunroom to foster that habit of like sitting down, even if you have five minutes to read a book. And if they're accessible and you don't have to dig them out, you'll read more. So these are going great. They are not done. They need to be painted. This will all be after our Florida trip, but I did want to show you a sneak. So this is the other side of the sunroom. You have the two doors that split the sides, and then this side is a few steps behind that side. So we have to trim and prime. Um, this other side that I showed you is primed. And the reason we had books over here is A, to like clean up. We're not working on the bookshelves right now with everything going on in life. Um, and B, to make sure like we built the shelves like the right height and stuff. So over here you can kind of see like the beginning stages and we will be blogging all of this and talking about it and sharing it. Um, but anyways, just making it cozy in the in-between. So um, over on this side we have a sofa right here and I'm not sure what else we'll be adding. I kind of want to see how our family functions in here. We are using the space already. We're eating in here, sitting in here. I kind of want to see like what we need before going forward. And then what color we paint, I have no idea. It is white primed right now. Um, we'll be adding more trim and then we need to paint. So it will look very, but per usual. Oh, also the flooring will be changing. So per usual, we are making it cozy in the in-between. Um, enter Amazon tablecloths and just like adding character and color and texture. Um, I, I do fall in that rut a lot. I'm not gonna act like I, and like always making it cozy in the in-between. I feel like all of 2023, I fell in the rut of, we might as well just wait until the project is done to make it pretty. And so you guys didn't see a lot here from me. In fact, like all of our belongings or most of them are still packed up um, because yeah, we're just waiting for projects to be done. But 2024 is all about progress and um, acting on what I preach often because um, as your friend, I'm always like, just make it cozy in the in-between for you and your family and like how you're functioning right now. Um, and then I don't always do that. So anyways, we're doing it. Um, but yeah, go to my feed and see the other tablecloth and how I styled it.